Welcome to the world of informational texts, where words come alive, ideas take shape, and knowledge takes flight. Today, we're going to learn about the different informational text structures and how they help us understand the information presented in a text. Let's start with description. This type of text structure provides a vivid picture of a person, place, thing, or event. It helps us understand what something looks like, what it does, and what it's like. For example, when we're reading about the Amazon rainforest, the description of its lush vegetation, diverse wildlife, and exotic birds paints a picture in our minds and helps us understand what the Amazon rainforest is like. Next up, we have sequence. This type of text structure lays out information in a step-by-step -step manner. It helps us understand how things happen, in what order, and what comes next. For example, when we read a recipe, we follow the sequence of steps to bake a cake. The order in which the ingredients are added, mixed, and baked helps us understand how to make a cake. Now, let's move on to compare and contrast. This type of text structure helps us understand how two or more things are alike and how they are different. It helps us see things in a new light and make informed decisions. For example, when we read about dogs and cats, we compare and contrast their personalities, behaviors, and abilities. This helps us understand the differences and similarities between the two animals. The next text structure we'll learn about is cause and effect. This type of text structure helps us understand why things happen, what causes them, and what the consequences are. For example, when we read about climate change, we learn about the causes, such as human activities and greenhouse gas emissions, and the effects, such as rising temperatures and melting polar ice caps. This helps us understand the impact of our actions on the environment. Finally, we have problem and solution. This type of text structure helps us understand what the problem is and what can be done to solve it. It helps us find solutions to the challenges we face. For example, when we read about poverty, we learn about the problem of lack of resources and opportunities and what can be done to solve it, such as creating jobs. Informational texts teach us about a topic and the way in which they are organized helps us to better understand that topic.